Hi, this is Tom Ladd for the 2019 Ozark Baseball Preview Magazine. We're spotlighting our cover selections, and we'd like to uh, welcome Mason Hour from Kickapoo, the Chiefs, as one of the uh, cover selections. First off, congratulations. Thank you. It's, uh, it's an honor to be selected for this. You know a lot of the guys on the cover, don't you? Yeah, I know a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Played uh, summer ball with them, if not, uh, I mean, over the years, you've seen them a lot anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've played summer ball with Gage and Blake and Carson and all those guys, so I know them a little bit, yeah. This is a familiar place for you as well. We're at the Nat House, so uh, you know this place real well. Yeah, I've been here a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know it quite well, yeah. Well, Kickapoo uh, last year, you had uh, a lot of uh, offensive talent uh, um, that had graduated. Uh, some of your pitchers are back. Um, pitching staff should be pretty good with you and, and David Sen. Uh, talk a little bit about the Chiefs this year. Uh, so we should be really solid pitching-wise. We have me, David, uh, Will Bailey's going to play a big role for us this year. Uh, Hitting-wise, uh, we should be pretty good. We have a bunch of athletes, so uh, I think that everyone will be able to figure it out. So we should we should have a pretty good team. Mason last year was first-team All-State Utility and is headed to Missouri State University. Three and four on the mound with a pretty low earned run average, but offensively hit over 350, six homers, 34 RBIs. Uh, t- first off, let's talk about you as a pitcher. Uh, so... As a pitcher, uh, you know, I just go up there and just try to throw a first pitch strike every time. Uh, just try to attack the hitter as much as possible and not really just try to focus on one batter at a time, not focus on anything else that's happening. So, I uh, look online and I see Mason Hour throwing mid-90s this uh, offseason. Uh, I know you were, you were throwing hard last year, but that's quite an increase. Yeah, um, I, we put in a lot of work this winter uh, at the school, and all of our guys have. So we've seen a lot of big jumps in quite a few people, and uh, I just thank all my uh, teammates and everything like that for pushing me and all that. So that's why that's probably why I've had a big jump. You, uh, you're also a good offensive player, good speed uh, in the outfield. Going to Missouri State, do you know where you're going to be uh, position-wise? Uh, hopefully playing center field and pitching. Uh, that's my goal is to play center field and pitch. So. At college? Uh uh-huh, Yeah, at college, yeah. You don't see a lot of guys, especially at Missouri State, that'll be two-way players like that. I mean, there's been a few over the years. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a great opportunity for me just to get myself out there and just be, uh, I don't know, a two-way guy in college is hard, so it'll be a grind, but I'm, I'm ready for it. Former uh, Kickapoo uh, pitcher threw for the Bears yesterday in the first game of the season. That's got to make you feel good. Yeah, it does. It makes me, it makes me feel good. Yeah, uh, he's a really good pitcher, and I'm glad for him. I'm happy for him. Well, talk about uh, you as a uh, as an offensive player. The numbers you put up last year. You hope to increase those this year. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hope to increase my numbers, but I'm not really focused on just my stats. I'm just focused on getting wins for our team and just making a good run. So. Coach Hauser, what has he meant to your game over the years? Uh, he's meant a good – he's done a lot for me. He uh, He's coached me for four years now, and he's just pushed me super hard and has always got something to say. So <laughs> he's really good, and I like him a lot. And uh, the Midwest Nationals, uh, what's that meant to your game during the offseason, the summer? Uh, well, I didn't play for the Midwest Nationals, but, uh, I mean, their facilities are really nice, and I've been in here a couple times this offseason, and it's been nice. What uh, summer ball? Talk about what you do summer wise. Uh, so I played for this team out of Wichita called the Wichita Twins, and <clears throat> it's coached by Pat Mears. He he played in the big leagues for 12 years, I think, and uh, he's just a really good coach, and that's why I played for him. Little travel then, uh, going to Wichita all the time. Mm-hmm, yeah, a little bit of a travel. We didn't really practice much. We just kind of went to games and everything like that over the weekend, so it wasn't too bad. But talk about your decision to go to Missouri State and how that was made. Uh, so, I mean, it was a pretty easy decision. Uh, it wasn't just because it was close to home. It was mainly just because the coaching staff and everything around it is just like a family, basically. So that's why I liked it a lot. Well, the Chiefs, uh, obviously, you know, we, you play in a good conference, uh, so good schedule each and every year. What do you think uh, this year? Are you guys going to compete for a championship? Yeah, I think that we will definitely be competing for a district championship and hopefully more. Uh, we have big goals this season, and so I think that we'll make a pretty good run and definitely play for a championship. 
Mason, congratulations on the uh, cover selection of the uh, Ozarks baseball preview. Thank you. I appreciate it. Best of luck to you this season. Again, the 2019 Ozark Baseball Preview Magazine. We are spotlighting our cover selections. Mason Hour from Kickapoo is who we've been uh, visiting with, and this is Tom Ladd.